Hey, everybody, Ann here. And good boy, Papa. Yep, I've already had my coffee. I've done chicken chores. And I opened the second Prezi that I got for myself. And it's running right now, so I'm, I'm just going to show you what it is. It's, it's pretty cool. This is my new food dehydrator. It's got five trays, and it has a temperature gauge, so you can change the temperature. I think it goes from like 100 to, let's see here, uh, uh, up to 158. And it's got trays that you can change the height. See that? They kind of lock. You can put them up higher or put them down lower. See, once again, and it fits into the groove. Perfect. So I'm going to dehydrate some store-bought mushrooms. You know how much I love my mushrooms. And I'm just going to put several trays on there. Basically, I just filled four trays. And it took... Well, I, I think that's a quart of mushrooms. So the solar started at 13.2, which is 100%. And I heard conflicting rules about what temperature to use. So I went ahead and went with 126 for this batch. And uh, I'll just adjust as necessary. And once I turned this thing on, it didn't even dip it at all. It stayed at 13.2. So I'm starting a timer, and I'm going to let this go. They say it takes anywhere from three to six hours. And it comes with a an instruction booklet that has all sorts of recipes and guidelines for dehydrating different uh, fruits and vegetables and just a whole bunch of stuff in there. But I'm most interested in making jerky. That's why I got this. <laughs> So it's been going about an hour now. I'm going to open it up and see how things are going. Well, they're definitely dehydrating. Oh yeah, they are getting very dry and they're maintaining their shape and their color. So I'm gonna pull a couple of these trays off to see what the ones are like on the bottom. And I'm going to um, shift the trays. I'll bring the bottom one up and then put the top one on the bottom and just keep doing that. Put the cover back on and let it go for however much more long. And the solar is only down to 13.1%. It's kind of cloudy, so I'm not getting a whole lot in. But 97%, I think my solar is holding up just fine. So it's been going a little over two hours now. Let's check this out. Dehydrating even more. They are, they feel like they're almost done, but I did break a few open and there's still a little bit of sponginess on the inside. So I went ahead and put them back in and look at that solar. It's only down to 93%. So I, I know I can dehydrate foods. It's just been going and going, not very sunny. And so this is after, I think three hours, three hours, no, four hours. Four hours. These are done. I'm going to leave them out and to cool off and condition for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to put them in their own plastic bag before I add them to the rest of my dehydrated mushrooms just to make sure there's no condensation that develops and that, that everything is is good and uh you know they're completely dehydrated. But yeah, they I, I think these are done. This is wonderful. I am so excited about this dehydrator. Can you guess what tomorrow's project is going to be? Well, I made a marinade out of a quarter cup of soy sauce, a tablespoon of Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce, a couple tablespoons of my fermented jalapeno pepper sauce, and a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm just going to massage it with my hand in the bag, kind of mix it up a little bit before I put the meat in. And the meat that I chose is certified Angus beef. It is fajita beef. I'm going to have to remove some of that fat, but... Look at, look at how great those slices are. They are absolutely perfect for beef jerky. I don't have to do another single thing. So I just got it all in the bag and I'm just going to massage the stuff into it. Turn it over a few times. And once I put it in the refrigerator, I will definitely go in there and rotate the bag a few times. But I'm going to let it uh, marinate overnight. And, uh... You know, hopefully it'll be delicious. And the cord tucks up inside underneath the bottom of it perfectly so you can store it easily. And now I think it's time for some chicken TV. So I traded some fish for eggs 
neighbor Paul and Mary Ann. They're wonderful. Paul is a great fisherman. And I took home a bunch of carcasses. Paul filleted me up a bunch and I'm going to do something interesting with it. But these chickens, they just love it. I mean, it's like they all have to be at the same, same one pecking away at it. Fish is good for them and they will eat the whole thing. And there's several of them scattered around this yard. So, what do you think, Papa? Hmm? You're a good boy. You sure are. He's the best boy ever. Get your nummies, guys. Some of them aren't sure what to do with it. But they'll figure it out. Look, oh, oh. Don't fight over the food, girls. There's plenty. Here you go. Yep, that's one of Romeo's favorites right there. You can tell by her back. Look at this one. She didn't go for it. <laughs> I love watching them. Here you go, sweet baby. Get you some grub. That's Romeo over there, serenading his girls. That's, that's Romeo on the left there. He's got his girls up underneath the van, and he's singing to them. That dehydrator is pretty awesome, but before I give you the link and the whole spiel on how to find it yourself, I'm going to test it a couple more times because, well, tomorrow I'm going to do the beef jerky. Um, it's going to marinate overnight, and it's going to take all day long. And um, I just want to make sure at the temperature I need to dehydrate the beef jerky that those trays aren't going to melt before I encourage any of you to look into this particular model. So, um, and the fish, well, I'm going to fry some up for dinner tonight for sure. And then the rest of it, I may, I may just brine it in a salt brine or I may make a marinade similar to the one that I made for the beef. And then I'm going to see if I can dehydrate that fish. I have some dehydrated fish jerky sort of I don't know I don't know if it's possible I'm gonna look into it um, I know I can do the beef jerky in there um, hopefully those plastic trays hold up so we'll just have to wait and see anyhow uh, it's been a good day so that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one